Various types of regenerative agriculture have begun to figure out how to turn atmospheric carbon into soil organic matter and how to build or regenerate topsoil rapidly. These methods are the best opportunity we have to reverse global warming affordably and sustainably using free solar energy captured by green plants while also addressing major problems of water scarcity and flooding, food security, economic stability, and conflict over resources. Institutional research and bureaucratic inertia will not be able to grasp this opportunity. To enable our techno society to evaluate and recognize these emerging biological possibilities, there should be an X prize contest to see how fast land managers can turn atmospheric carbon into soil organic matter. Though technology cannot address much of the biological carbon cycle, there is a role, and that is in mapping, monitoring, and measuring the carbon cycle. Though there exist many reliable methods for measuring or estimating soil organic matter on a piece of land to a specific depth, these methods tend to be expensive and cumbersome if they are reliable. In 1714, the British Parliament set up a prize for an accurate method of determining longitude at sea. At the time, this was a basic navigational issue, and thousands of seamen lost their lives because longitude was a matter of guesswork. John Harrison's chronometer was the winning solution. Today, we face a similar navigational issue. We generally do not know whether our land is gaining or losing carbon. Yet knowing this and adjusting our management accordingly is the biggest opportunity of our time and we need a breakthrough. Measuring soil carbon paves the way for significant and rapid improvement in soil carbon as farmers can learn what works. Accurate measurement is also a prerequisite for effective carbon markets and incentives that will include land managers and farmers who are most vulnerable and have the most leverage against these interconnected problems.